Your hood can be one of your greatest assets in the field. Whether in the deepest of thickets, working the briars to flush that cottontail, with the hawk waiting keenly above, or with your hawk in the fist, fed up from a fresh kill, and a quarter mile hike back to the truck ahead of you, your hood should always be there with you. Carry it, save it, protect it. Making a hood protector is very simple if you have a good pattern. So I spent a day designing and creating my own hood protector pattern. After much trial and error and countless tweaks, I've created a very simple and easy pattern, which looks good and serves its purpose to boot. In honor of my 3000th subscriber, I've called it the 3000 pattern. This pattern is easily scalable with minimum photo editing skills. Simply save it by following the link provided and printed out. What you'll need. To make this hood protector, you'll need a pattern, six to eight ounce leather, a needle, thread, wax dental floss works great, a razor and a pair of scissors, two safety pins, Velcro or whatever you'll be using to close the hood protector, a pair of pliers, and your leather dye and leather protector with some brushes to go with it. The first thing to do is to cut the pattern out. As you can see, I've created this pattern so that you can choose between a round top or a square top. I'm going to be using the square top. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is trace your pattern on the back side of your leather. As you can see here at the end, there's not enough paper room on a standard piece of printing paper. So I marked it just to continue down two inches and then you'll just square it off. So starting here at the bottom, bottom of this pattern, we'll just draw a straight line continuing two inches down. Then we'll go straight across here. Next, what we're gonna go ahead and do, making sure our pattern is still exactly in our trace marks, is we're gonna go ahead and cut these slits that I've marked right here with the razor. Then we'll go ahead and trace our straps as well. The next thing we'll do is cut this pattern out. At this point, it should look like that. Next, we'll cut out our straps. So now, because you trace your pattern on the back side of the leather, you're gonna flip your pattern over so it's like this on the front side of the leather. And where I've placed these two X's, you'll need to push through to mark where you're gonna stitch these straps. So I've indented my marks where I placed my X's and I'm just gonna do a cross stitch through the strap into place. So once you finish your cross stitch, you'll simply tie two or three tight granny knots on the back side of the leather, and you'll snip the string, take super glue, and cover the knot. Once the glue gets a little tacky, you can take a pair of pliers and squish the knot flat. At this point, you'll wanna make sure your straps can go through those slits we cut earlier. So now where I've marked the fold lines, you're going to fold the leather. Now, six to eight ounce leather is pretty thick, so what we're gonna do to make this a little bit easier is take a straight edge. We're just gonna do a, a light slit, just a little ways into this leather. Okay, so now when we take some water and saturate the leather along where we're gonna be doing our bend, it'll form a tight crease along that slit. Now it's time to stitch our hood protector. It doesn't really matter how you stitch it. Um, your goal is to eventually have it fastened like this. You can either do a, a cross stitch or for lack of a better word, a straight stitch, which means I'll be stitching in 
this side of the leather through the edge of this part and then out this side down and back through the same way. I've already placed some holes in here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put our needle through the first hole and then we'll just unstring it, leaving some string on the inside, restring our needle, and I'll begin doing the straight stitch, which I was attempting to explain earlier. So as you can see, I went through the top part and out the side panel. And now, as you can see, it's, it's got the straight style rather than the cross. So then what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna go down a little bit back up through the edge of this panel again, out the top. So once you've gotten to the end, it should look like this. Now, at the bottom, you can see there's got a little corner right there. You want to reinforce it before stitching back up the opposite direction. Uh, you can do this by either going in and around a couple times, or just by going straight across here, back into the loop that you just made. I'll just do it a few times straight across here and then I'll begin working back up the other direction. So as this final stitch, we're just going to once again punch a hole directly inside of the hood protector. And then we'll tie two or three simple knots, which we will then super glue. At this point, once you've finished stitching the other side, your hood should look something like this. The next thing we're going to do is stitch the safety pin onto the back of the hood protector. The next thing you'll need to do is install whatever type of fastening system you're going to be using. As mentioned, I'm going to be using Velcro. What you're gonna do is simply cut out two patches of Velcro that fit onto the top part of the front of your hood protector, round the edges, and then stitch them on. One thing I do is take super glue and go around the edge just to keep it from curling up. Then you'll take the other part of your Velcro and you'll stitch it onto the inside at the top of the flap. You want a piece long enough to cover both of those patches you've already stitched onto the opposite side. All right, now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is, is fold, sort of make a crease right there up at the top where the edge of your Velcro is. Once you've creased it a little, your hood protector should now be fully operational. And it should look something like this. Now it's not done, so what we're gonna do is we'll actually dye it and then we'll use our leather finish and leather protector. Once your leather finish is dry, your hood protector should be complete. 